right, let's take a break from the skits for a minute to do a little book talk. Because I'm more than just a man in a wig. I have interests, hobbies, desires, like my wife's taste. I love them. Before I realized there was a whole book talk community with popular book talk books, I asked my followers to recommend me some books. And one of them recommended me small things like these by Claire Keegan. It's a fiction book set in Ireland about a couple decades ago, and I really wanted to like this book. And I did like this book starting out. Um, it's got like a Christmas feel. It really takes you to the location of Ireland. You really feel like you're in the character's shoes. But somewhere midway, maybe three-fourths along the way, I fell out of the book. Um, I kind of got a little lost. And usually that's a sign for me where it's just, why push it at that point? But I am selling it on Pango, and a lot of people wish-listed it, meaning that it's a very popular book, and a lot of people like it. It's also like a bestseller, so... I would still recommend it to someone, it's just not my type of story. This book, on the other hand, I picked up on a whim just because I like the blurb. Um, it's called Our Missing Hearts by Celeste NG. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her last name. It's set in our world, but it's not set in our world. The characters live in a world where there's a lot of Asian prejudice, and there are laws that are trying to preserve American culture, and, it's, and a young boy in the story, his mom disappears when he's about 11, which is why it connected with me, because my mom left when, when I was 13. For years, you know, he's gotta pretend like she doesn't exist, but he always wonders where the hell she went, and then the story unravels with that while you're exploring this, this dark um, world where the characters always have to live on eggshells. The parents never know if their kids are going to be taken away because the families aren't being like patriotic enough or you know. It sounds political but it's like not political at the same time. It really humanizes the characters in a way where you empathize with them and you you know you can't not take their side because they're always living in fear of like having their family destroyed and you know it's all about like, the protests that are going on about how books are being burned Things like that. I'm not doing it justice, by the way, I'm explaining. I wanted to read this book next. I'm a huge wrestling fan. It's about Edge. I guess it's considered an autobiography. But then as I was exploring book talk, I came across this book called uh, Throne of Glass. I read the sample and I, and I bought it immediately. So that's the next book I'm reading. So I'll be talking about that book when I'm done reading it. But in the meantime, go buy my books. They're all in my link tree. I'm still working on the book for you guys based on the skits. I know you like the, the skits more than I talk about books, but I love books. Also in my link tree is a discount on Pango. Use my code. Um, see you next time.